In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Describe the characteristics of an installment note. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. So if we see a discussion question or essay question like this, we're talking about an installment note. So first we may want to define what a note is. We may not know installment note. and We may think, well, how am I gonna get started here? Well, at first we can define a note. If we're talking about an installment note, then uh, the note will probably be some form of it and probably that could be picking up some points. So when we're taking a note, we're basically talking about a loan. This could be a note payable that we're gonna have here. So a note is gonna be some type of promise to pay. So when we take a loan typically out from the bank, what we're trying to do is finance the company. So we're looking to get money for taking out a, a $100,000 loan we're gonna get the 100,000 cash and we're gonna credit the note payable and we're typically gonna have some type of contract then requiring the promise of the repayment of the note along with interest. Now, that's gonna be the typical agreement, of course, to get a loan. We're gonna get the loan, we're gonna, we're gonna sign a promise, we're gonna pay back both the principal and the interest. Now, when we think about an installment note, the difference is it, it's really what we think about normally when we think about a note, because most of us have dealt with installment notes. Uh, and that's going to be something like a car payment. It's typically an installment note. If we have to pay back a loan for the purchase of a car or a mortgage, typically it's going to be some type of installment note. And that usually will be the case that we're going to pay back some uh, fixed payments in the future. And oftentimes those fixed payments will be the same in amount and notice that we, we could do other things with a note a note could be anything we could set up the note in whatever form we want meaning we could say we're gonna we're gonna take a loan 100,000 from the bank right now and we're gonna pay it all back at the end meaning we're paid both the interest and the principal at the end of the note or we may set it up so that we just pay interest like the rent on the money and then pay back the principal at the end we could set up the note any any way we want to do it but oftentimes a note is set up in an installment form for multiple reasons. Uh, one is that as you know, the people that are, that are receiving the note, the people that are paying back often want to know just, just to the, the payments that will be made so they can budget monthly payments. It's easier to budget monthly payments oftentimes than, than just paying it all back in the end possibly. Or uh, it's, it's also the case where the, the loaner, the person loaning the money, may want uh, installment notes because then they feel security in terms of the payments are still happening and they can judge whether or not they believe that uh, the people they're loaning to will be able to pay a certain dollar amount. So it's more safe in some, in some ways to have the installment. So for that reason, and, and plus it's something that people are typically more used to. We've, we've seen that format more often. Uh, with a lot of types of loans so a lot of loans will be in that format then and so what that means most of the time is most of the notes we have are going to be an installment note and that just basically means we're going to be paying back uh, interest and principal some type of installment payments to pay back the loan so if we took out a hundred thousand dollar loan we're going to be paying back some type of payments typically those payments being even now if we want to get into the, so that would be the installment note. Now we could get into more detail in terms of what it means to pay back, just to pick up as many points as possible and what's going to be the allocation. What does it mean to pay back principal and interest during the payments and what does that do? Uh, and, that, and to do that, we discuss more of like an amortization table, what's actually happening. Uh, when we get the installment note, obviously it's just a straight journal entry. We would, we would debit cash, we'd increase cash and we would credit the liability, the note payable on the books. And then we're gonna make payments and those payments are all gonna be the same dollar amount uh, of payment. Now we fixed the dollar amount so that you know we can budget the dollar amount for all the reasons we talked about. But in order to fix the dollar amount to make a fixed payment, we have to vary 
the amount of interest and principal that we're going to pay throughout the time period. Uh, meaning as we make the fixed payments, we're going to reduce the principal. And as we reduce the principal, we're going to be allocating a, a, a different amount between interest and principal because the interest we owe is based on the principal that we owe. So what happens in an installment note, the confusing thing about normal installment notes where we pay the same payment all the time is that although the payment's the same, the amount allocated between interest and principal will differ. And what will happen is that at the beginning of the installment note, the same payment will be going a lot more to interest expense than principal portion because the value of the note is higher. The, I mean, the, the face amount, the carrying amount of the note is higher. As the principal portion of the note goes down, then the amount allocated to principal of each payment will go down and the amount that reduces the principal, reduces the loan, will go up. And you can see this in any kind of, if you take a, a loan for a car loan or if you have a mortgage loan, you can see at the beginning of the amortization table, you're like, wow, it's all interest right now. <laughs> and at the end of it, you're going to be saying, wow, that's a lot of it, we're paying almost all principal out. And that's because of the way the note is set up as the result of us trying to make the payments the same and, and having to adjust then the amount allocated between interest and principal along the life of uh, the note.